Hey guys, welcome back this week uh, to see another cute baby watercolor animal tutorial. I'd like you to stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you not only how I create this on watercolor paper with watercolor pencils, but I'm also going to show you an iPad version in Procreate. My first time ever using Procreate and how I created the same exact piece in the iPad. So make sure you stick around to the end and let's get started. Hi creative friends, it's Elizabeth Seamson, the Doodle Nurse, and welcome back this week for another watercolor animal drawing. And today's inspiration is, wait for it, wait for it, yes. The blue-footed booby. <laughs> if you've never heard, around, heard of them, stick around to see how this turns out. So today we're going to start with our sketching with a pencil. As we start every video, grab your pencils, your eraser, and your supplies, and let's get started. I'm going to start sketching this blue-footed booby out. I know you're gonna laugh at the name of him, but my daughter requested that I would make this for her, so that is what I am doing today. So I'm starting off today with sort of an oval shape, sort of a cylinder shape, and I'm waving the lines because this little bird has feathers. So I start off with a narrow top for the head and we're gonna come all the way down to the bottom where it's a little bit flat on the bottom, as you can see, and of course it's wavy. And next I'm gonna start off with the wavy shape for the mask of his face, where his eyes and his beak will go into. Now this bird doesn't have very much expression to his face, at least the inspiration picture doesn't, but he has two little circles for his eyes. And then in the center area is where his beak is, and it's kind of like a triangle shape. And the area on the outside of that is just shading area that I just put in below his mask where the fur is, or the feathers are just a little bit darker. And you can see towards the beak area is just a triangle shape. It's, we can't really define the beak. Then come the wings on the side of the bird. This is like one of the simplest drawings I have ever done. Breaking it down into shapes makes drawing easier to do. And so now I'm gonna start with the one webbed foot. As you can see, my lines are jagged, and he's got a couple bone structures in that foot, and I'm just letting them show here with the pencil lines. So we'll see later if we define them with marker or not. Um, we'll play this by ear. And we start with the other leg, and now you're going to see the full leg, because the inspiration picture I had just had his uh, him standing on one foot. And I'm pretty much basing it on that picture as I am creating the other foot. Sorry, you can't really see that here, but you'll see it later. It kind of went out of the screen. And everything is kind of wavy, as you'll see. So here you'll be able to see the completed sketch version of the blue-footed booby. <laughs> and now we're gonna move on. Normally I go to the water-resistant marker, but we're gonna go off to watercolor pencils and we're gonna reverse it this week and we're gonna see what a difference it makes and find your way on how you wanna do things. So as I gather up my pencils, we're gonna start with our watercolor pencils and I'm gonna use a few different shades of browns and blues and of course the gray area and so I'm just going to gather up my pencils here and we'll see what we end up with. So there we have a nice assortment of pencils to begin with and I won't forget my watercolor pen as well which I have 
here for this project today. So I start by coloring in the eyes and they are a green color. I did not choose the correct color green, but I make it work. It should have been a brighter green as like my inspiration photo looked, but that's okay. We'll just go with it from here. And, and then we'll start with the mask area in a brown. Um, and I'm looking at my inspiration piece just to make sure that I have sort of like the similar colors. It's going to be different to get exact with watercolor pencils, especially since I do not have such a wide variety. But I'm going to do the best that I can here. So you may fall into the same problem that I am having here with the colors but do what you can if you don't have watercolor pencils by all means use markers crayons color pencils whatever you want to do to create your blue footed booby and we're going on with the wing a dark brown just in the outside of the wing and then I have a little area on the inside that I'm going to be putting a lighter color on and you'll see that as we move forward. Now I'm just gonna grab my um, watercolor brush here and blend in the darker brown areas. Now if this is the first video you have come upon in the watercolor baby animal series, then by all means click the link in the description to view the whole series. We have a whole bunch of little animals that are so cute. And also in the description, you can find them available right now as of today on coffee mugs, but they will be going on stickers in the future and other products. So just keep looking in the description box below for those links for the merchandise if it's something you're interested in owning. This channel is all about doodling, lettering, and drawing and teaching you how you can create beautiful drawings with simple shapes. So anybody can do this. You do not have to be an artist, but you do have to learn how to break things down in simple shapes to be able to create. And that is what I show you here in these videos. So if it's something you'd like to see, by all means, put it in the comment section below and we'll see about getting it here for future videos. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if this is the content that you like. I love having you here. I love having you learn how to draw with me and break everything down into simple shapes. Each week we have a new video and those videos are geared towards helping you learn how to doodle, letter, and draw. So by all means, make sure you give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think there's somebody that would like to learn this as well. Now this week I chose to do things a little bit different by doing the watercolor first and then the marker second because I do draw in a color book style. And I love to have the defined outline of a black marker. But you don't have to do that. And you don't have to do the reverse order as I did this week. You could put the marker first and then you can go and do the watercolor pencils or watercolors, whatever you're using. But I thought this would be nice to show you that there is no perfect way to do it, that you're gonna find the way that you wanna do it and then proceed with that. And if you don't want to do something that you see here, by all means, make it your own. It doesn't have to look like what I create. It doesn't really have to look like the inspiration piece. It has to look like what you see and what you create. It's all about being unique and individual. So I'm going to speed up the video as I lay down some color on our blue-footed booby bird. And just know that you're going to find your own unique way to do this and highlight the different shadows based with the color, the colors that you choose. 
as I said, working with watercolor pencils, it was not easy for me to find the shades I needed. So then we're gonna go off to the fine line water resistant marker. And if you have to rewind this, go ahead. But now I'm going to go outside the drawing and show you what it looks like with the black marker. So I start off showing you how to outline this using the wavy line. And I'm just gonna speed this up, but, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by using a wavy line. Hopefully you'll be able to see this in the demonstration. So hopefully you can see the wavy line version and how I go about putting the marker on after I've used the watercolor pencils. So, and then I go back in and I use some watercolor pencils for um, highlighting and low lighting. And um, that was easy for me to do on the watercolor version, but the iPad version, seeing how I do not know much about the iPad and Procreate, um, I was learning. So here we go. Today's inspiration here on the left hand side the iPad version in the middle using Procreate and our watercolor pencil version on the right hand side using our watercolor pencils. And that is the blue footed booby. So hopefully you liked today's tutorial on the blue footed booby. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like what you see here and check out the two videos showing right here to see more of this series of the animal watercolor drawings.